Dr. Phil Joyce. This is a supplemental log for October 30th, 2012. And uh, for a homeless guy, I'm living pretty good here at York College <coughs> on the evacuation center. And uh, they've got internet. They've got internet. And people have been watching my shows. People have been watching my shows. And the revolution begins. And <laughs> it continues. <laughs> The revolution continues. A lot of people here are friends of mine. And now I got brand new friends, a whole bunch of brand new friends. And there's a brother over here. I want to interview him because he says that he knows that with the stuff that I'm talking about, that the same thing that your guys did to me at the Brooklyn VA, locking me up on the psycho ward for 72 hours, then at the Bronx VA, locking me up there for six, for seven days. <laughs> Oh, to your mama. <laughs> you guys can't be that damn stupid that they people so dumb that they can't see through the lines and see that you guys are retaliating against me because I, I'm exposing things about you. I don't do secrets anymore. I don't do secrets anymore. Let me show you. You see, a guy that can wear this, a guy that does battalion duty right here. A guy that does battalion duty, United States Army, Airborne Ranger. A guy that does this for your country. A guy that became a medical specialist, behavioral science specialist, non-commissioned officer, airborne. Served with the 24th Infantry Division, 1st Battalion, 75th Infantry, 9th Medical Battalion, and 121 EVAC Hospital. This country betrayed me. This country just betrayed me. This country has betrayed me, unlike you betrayed anybody else. And I just, and while I was here, I met my uh, a, a Haitian guy who's going to take a look at my 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 book stuff and he give me some comments on it. And then he showed me, he introduced me to my cousin. I got a cousin that's another activist, but he's big time. He's big time. He gets national press. His name is Fun Skibble. <laughs> he's the cousin of my other cousin-in-law. Um, Jean Kibble, <laughs> and you guys, you guys, I can't wait to meet my cousin Franz Kibble. I got to meet him. I got to talk to him. We got to get together and let me see if you'll help me out with this book. That's who is going to help me write this book about the redlining scheme of the Bloomberg administration. That's who I want to publish my book. So I'm going to my cousin. I'm going to family. So guess what? To all you people that told me that the Haitian aristocracy wasn't shit who told me that I was crazy, who told me that I didn't inherit nothing, and I was just a pile of shit, like the black Negroes you keep over here, bang, to your mama. <laughs> just love <loved> this. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I hear that um, my beaches have been wiped out, so you guys got to go build them. Take some more money of all that money you stole, all the money you done bled out of everybody. Go rebuild my beach over there. <laughs> in Far Rockaway. You hear me? I love you. I love you. And guess what? Volunteers of America. Hey, people, guess what? Google Volunteers of America, Inc. These are a nonprofit organization that goes around supposedly taking care of the homeless. That's the biggest bunch of crooked individuals there is that's abusing homeless people in order for them to get money because they'll bring in somebody like Charmaine McPherson from the Bronx VA to James J. Peters Bronx VA, and then you got to get abused. You got to be abused. You got to be intimidated. You got to get punked out by some big she male that's actually a man in a woman's body. Charmaine McPherson's about 350 pounds. There's a guy called Jimmy Zapier that I met while I was on the psycho ward. He was locked up over there. Um, he says he calls her Wonder Woman. You know why? He wonders how she moves that ass because it's so goddamn big. <laughs> And Jimmy Zappi is a white man. <laughs> he was also abused by Charmaine McPherson. And we got five other guys, including the Asian guy that's at Volunteers of America. He's a Chinese guy. Um, he's at Volunteers of America. He's about six feet tall. He's one of them. The guy that goes to work in the morning. All of those guys can be identified. All the Veterans Administration has to do is to walk into Volunteers of America. It's dumb. Uh, 1365, 1375 Cromwell Avenue in the Bronx, and you ask those veterans that's on the third floor, what 
did Charmaine McFixon do to you? Mental freaking torture. And Dr. Julia Golia wants that contained. So um, when um, Ann Tannenbaum at Volunteers of America, along with Greg, those are two supervisors, um, were uh, trying to orchestrate a criminal matter to have me arrested for threatening Charmaine McPherson when I never did that. All I did was expose her malfeasance, and they tried to say, oh, you're fixated on her, you're being hyperactive, we scared you're going to be some kind of a threat. I don't have any mental uh, 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 psychiatric background <laughs> other than wh when I go to the veterans hospitals and that's we have veterans hospitals so far who played me for crazy that's the veterans hospital in Memphis Tennessee that's the Brooklyn VA and the Bronx VA that whenever you're a homeless person you go to a VA hospital you'll be taken to be mental because you're being judged by white people most of them are Jewish and they will say, you're a crazy nigger. You're a crazy nigger piece of shit. We got to lock you up and see what the hell is wrong with you. And let's us medicate you because every time we medicate you, we get a commission from the pharmaceuticals to give you that medication. And we're going to straighten your monkey ass out. So you black people that love America, you a dumbass piece of shit motherfucker. Because America don't love you. America don't give a shit about you. America wants to destroy you. America wants to kill you. America hates you. Unless you got money from the, uh, get taxes from you, and then those taxes will be used to make weapons, and they, those weapons will also go towards giving them to Israel to kill Palestinians and Lebanese, and that's the blood you got on your hands. And I say, bang! Congratulations to you, America. Bang! To your mama. And thank God you guys, Americans, are killing so many people through abortions. I congratulate you. I congratulate you on you killing people through abortions. My, my cousin hates that too, just like I do. So congratulations, America. Bye-bye. This is my personal law for October 30th in your, in, in your evacuation shelter system. And let me show you what it looks like. <laughs> we got internet. So we're watching my shows. We're watching shows. What's up there, bro? Um, you want to get on my show? You're tired. All right, brother. Yeah, but did they try? Did they try to lock you up? Told you they're gonna take central, take central booking from Coney Island. Yeah. So in other words, they tried to lock you up yeah. if you wouldn't evacuate right. over there from over there, right. and they, for them to bring you here. I so came here by train. you came here by train. Yeah. So if you didn't evacuate, they would have made a criminal matter out of it yeah. and lock you up yeah. and yeah. put you away. You and that other guy right here that's in that wheelchair right here. Don't you think that's criminal? Yes. That's, that's, that's the police and, the and, and the administration trying to lock you up because you black and you don't want to leave your home right. and you figure where you at, you safe. If something happens to you, that's your responsibility. But they can't want to lock you up. They was going to take you to Central Booking yeah. and lock you up. And a van full. Huh? They had a van full of people? Yeah. They were just locking up black people. All black. All black. All right. Well, I wanted to show my fans that we're having a good time over here. We all right. We can handle this. We chilling. We can handle this. All right. We can handle it. Wow. How you like me now, America? <laughs> you have your nice day, America. Lock up black people because they don't want to evacuate. You are you just a piece of work. Have a nice day. Congratulations. What'd you say? You love them. You, you you love America. You black. You love America. Some of you are stupid.